Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is uh, just gonna make a quick video of how to make a, a do-it-yourself hood vents for your 350Z. Um, this may work for other cars, I'm not really sure, but this is what I did with mine. So basically, I just wanted to make some vents for some airflow for when I'm drifting, um, whether it works or not. Uh, I don't really care. I really just wanted to work on the car and this, this didn't cost me any money. So here we are. Um, when cutting the, the hood, I didn't want to compromise the integrity of the hood. So I didn't make sure not to cut any of the supports right here. So I found some of this, the designs that are inside the hood, like here or here, I could probably could have done it but I decided I wanted to go to the Ford that I did. So, um, that's, that's why I have the designs that I have. So the hood stays intact and nice and strong so it doesn't go flying off while I'm driving. So if you're still interested, here's just a couple of tools that you may need. Um, I, the first couple of vents that I did, I used, I started with the drill and then some, a small drill bit, work my way up to a bigger one. The last couple I used um, this bit right here. And then that this one was actually much easier to use than all of these, but uh, if you don't have one of these, then this will work. So I drilled a couple pilot holes. Um, for some of the longer cuts, I used a cutting blade and then I used a flap wheel to kind of smooth out some of the edges. And then some, for some of the, the finer cuts, I used my Dremel tool with a cutting blade. And then I cleaned them up with a flap wheel for the Dremel. Now some of the other stuff you may need is, I picked up this wire mesh at Home Devo for like 10 bucks. It's a whole roll. So you can see I have a whole lot left. And then I have some black spray paint because I spray painted the, uh, the mesh black. And then this is the color of my car because I spray painted my car. Because uh, I don't really don't care what it looks like on the outside. If, um, if you're going to be doing this to one of your hot boy rides, you might want to take a little bit more care than what I did. Um, I used my snips right here to cut uh, the wire mesh. And you need some gloves too because this will poke your hands real bad and then also some painter's tape. So basically how I started was I drilled a, a hole in each of the corners so I knew where the turns were going to be. And I just made it real big. And then I took the uh, angle grinder with the cutting blade and did the really long lines to keep it nice and straight. And then once I got my long ones, they probably stopped about right here and here. So all I had left was the, just basically the 90 degree and I took my Dremel and I made really fine cuts just to notch out this piece of metal. So then this would come out. And then I'll take my flap wheel and just kind of cleaned up the edges. Make it made it a little bit more round. You can see mine's not completely perfect because I really don't care because this is a drift car. But uh, if I spend a little bit more time, you know, you can make it really nice. And then I took the wire mesh and I cut it to size just a little bit larger than this hole. I spray painted them and I just wedged it in between the frame and the, the top piece of metal of the hood. So you can see here, there it is. I know some of you are probably gonna make fun of my paint job, but don't care. Drift car and it's gonna get banged up anyway, so um, if you have any questions, feel free to, to ask. Um, it's pretty, overall, it's pretty easy. Um, 
especially because I didn't really have to take too much care doing it because this is a drift car, like I said, a hundred times already. But if, uh, if you want to make it look nice, you're probably gonna, it's probably going to take you longer than, than this. But uh, this is it. Here. It's the end result.